So we know that some of the studies that have been published have shown uh, a connection between genetics and visual snow because there's a higher incidence in certain families. So studies have shown anywhere from 3 to 10 percent of people with visual snow have a family member who has also experienced this. And because we think visual snow is not prevalent to the degree of 3 to 10 percent of people, then we assume that there might be a hereditary component or a genetic component. We don't see it as a, if your dad or mom has it, you have a 50 percent chance of inheriting it, that we call an autosomal dominant gene. And we don't see it as 25% chance so far, and that oftentimes is referred to as an autosomal recessive gene. So we don't see it as a direct inheritance. We see it as an increased, likely increased uh, in families, and that usually points to a genetic component.